Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mike, also go by Bowtie RN. I'll be posting a Bowtie video a little bit later on today. But today what I want to talk about, not, not necessarily shaving, but everything that goes into the beginning of shaving and actually part of shaving itself. I want to talk about the soaps. Now, there's a lot of different videos out there, a lot of different types of soaps, and I'm not here to tell anyone that they have to do it my way or that I'm always right because I'm new to this. And I'm just gonna tell you what I like, what I found, and what works for, for me. Today I'm gonna to be using Moon Dance Soaps, uh, Bay Rum and Spice, a very pleasant scent. It's not super strong scented. It's probably eh, anywhere from three to four on a zero to 10 scale, maybe up to five, depending on when it's, really, when it's right out of the package. I'm not sure how this strength is going to last through time, but I've right out of the package that smells absolutely wonderful. Very calm, very soothing. I've not used a Bay Rum before that had much of a scent, but this one's kind of nice. Kind of reminds me of even almost a, a, a sandalwood plus a little bit of rum. I don't know exactly what's, what uh, sense goes into their soap making, but I do know that I do like it. Okay, this, this soap itself actually is in a puck. So right out of the box, looks like this. They don't wrap their stuff in plastic, which I actually appreciate. They use very minimal packaging, just a very thin cardboard box like I showed you before. If you're, equal, if you're more concerned about the environment, some of the wet shavers are. I like to be concerned about the environment because I kind of live in it. But this company actually seems to do a really good job. They don't do any animal testing. It's all natural, so I like it. Um, when it comes to preparing this soap, what I found works best for me is if you just go ahead and drop it into a mug. Now I'm using, we won't bother, well, I kind of showed you. It's a, a large coffee cup. They actually take the puck itself, pour a little bit of water in it, just enough, just enough warm water to cover over the soap puck itself. And then I take my shower. I already took my shower, so you don't need to be seeing that. No one wants to watch that. When it comes to preparing your soap though, really all that water does is gets it a little bit softer and makes it easier for, for you to load your brush off of the puck. I don't want, I don't lather directly off the puck. I do load my brush off this, off the puck, but it does make it pretty easy for me. Now me personally, I did mention that I use a brush. I am using a synthetic brush. This one happens to be the uh, Simpson Trafalgar T2. I'm not real keen on the idea of Badger and Boar. Now I haven't really used them, so I can't say that the quality of them is not good. But again, synthetic versus animal. There's no, no animals are harmed in the idea of making a synthetic. So it, it works a little bit better for me. So what I do when I'm getting ready to shave, I go ahead and take my water, and what I like to do is I actually pour it into another bowl. So the water that I pour off the puck, I'll pour it into another bowl so I can use that for other things. We're using almost as a pre-shave, as well as I'll add water slowly to my brush and make, make the lather a little bit richer. Take my brush, nice warm water, Wring it out a little bit. I don't want it too wet when it goes to the puck. Then I go directly to the puck. And I'm doing this uh, not real long, you know, a minute, two minutes, no real set exact science to this as far as I'm concerned. I know several people I've seen, they have an exact science, you know, 100 right, 100, 100 counterclockwise, 100 clockwise, and then it should take a whole minute or whatever the situation is. I'm not into that. I like to do what's easy for me, what's fun for me. I do enough thinking during the week. This is a Saturday, so I'm not doing a whole lot of thinking as far as this goes. I just use what comes natural for me. So I've been doing it for quite, quite a little while, not too, too long. Got a lot of soap on the end of those bristles. And then I go directly to my lather bowl. I'm happy to use in this lather bowl. I kind of like it. It's got a nice thumb spot for your thumb. And then in between, in between, you can drop your brush right on there and it sits perfectly fine. So I'll take it down to the bottom of my bowl. Start lathering. I go clockwise, counterclockwise for a little while until it gets nice and pasty. Once it's nice and pasty, so if you had to look at it, it's kind of like that. And I'll take some of the water from my bowl that I already used. Take my brush, dunk it in there, get the tips wet. Bring that water right back to the bowl. 
continue this process until I have the lather built up nice and rich and it looks like something I want to go ahead and put on my face. Now, I have used this soap before. I've not used this scent. I used the, the uh, Sweet Citrus. Again, it's, it's another one. It has a really light scent to it. But what I have found is it's extremely slick on your skin. They use a bentonite clay in their formula. So when it hits the skin, it's just very, very slick. Um, the lather itself, it's a good quality lather, nice and, nice and rich lather, but it's not as thick as some of the, the more, more uh, common artisans out there. I do classify this definitely as an artisan soap. But some of your other bigger companies, even like Tobbs, wonderful soap, absolutely wonderful. But they use a, a different formula and theirs comes out a lot thicker. I'm okay with it not being super thick. This actually is pretty nice for me. If you look at that, that's just after a little bit of lathering, a little bit of working in a little bit of water. I'm gonna add a little bit more again. Kind of get some of that back off the brush. Add a little bit more water from my bowl again. And I'll keep doing this, like I said, until it looks nice and rich and like it's about ready for me. Different people like theirs, different thicknesses. I don't like mine super thick. A nice, a nice thin lather, as long as it's protective, works absolutely wonderful for me. So this hasn't been real long, and you can look. I did not load a whole lot of soap off of there, but incredible lather, incredible. All right. wasn't sure if I was going to shave on this video, but we're not that far into the video. We're not too long. I'll see if I can do a quick shave rather than wasting your time on something like that. So today what I'm actually going to be using, I do have a birthday razor for me. It happens to be 1970, second quarter, so it's a P2 razor. That would be the super adjustable, the 109. I like to start at 5, so I'll be starting at 5, and then I'll probably work up to 6 and then 7 for the second and third passes. All right, so what I'd like to do is I'll go ahead and take, again, some of that water that I saved from earlier, because my face has gotten a little bit dry from talking and doing the video. Go ahead and take some of that water, put it on my face. One, to get my face nice and damp again. Like I said, I did take a shower, but it has been a little while. All right. So like I said, I like to use a brush to apply my soap. I think it's easier, especially if you're taking your soap off of a puck. It definitely makes it easier. Rubbing a puck, a puck against my face just isn't very much fun. But what I like to use the, the brush for and what helps me is the brush itself lifts those hairs, gets the soap up underneath and softens that hair. So it makes it a little bit easier once you actually get to the shave itself. Some people will use a, a slightly stiffer brush, like you know, like the boar, the, some of the horse hair, where you have a little bit of a, almost a scritch to them, so it's a little more exfoliating. But again, you're not really using that brush against your face long enough for it to be truly exfoliating. I think it's kind of a little bit of a misnomer, kind of a myth as far as exfoliating goes. As you can see, this, this lather is pretty thick. All nice and foamy. I know it looks like it might be kind of going away on my face, but trust me, this soap and whatever formula they use is absolutely slick and very protective once you go to putting the razor on the face. And I like to use the brush, kind of brush, go against the grain of the hair, lift those hairs up, get the soap underneath, get it a little bit softer and ready to go ahead and take down with a razor. Today I'm actually using an RK blade. Got the got those blades when I got the um, the Henson AL13. I do have the Henson AL13 aggressive. 
Uh, there's a video on that earlier. You can go down and look at my look at my videos and see that video itself. All right. I like to use a, a cold water on my razor. Line up with my sideburns. Sorry, I have to use the actual mirror for that one. Again, like I said, I'm starting on a five. Not very aggressive. Absolutely wonderful on the face. Um, nice, smooth. I really do like this razor. Granted, I'm partial to it. It's my first vintage. And again, it's my birthday, birthday year and quarter, so. I'm gonna be partial to it. Some of you might say that, oh man, that, that lather's gone, it's going away. Trust me, the lather maybe have faded away, but the protective nature of this soap, this is so slick, it's still super slick on my hand, very slick on the razor, so I'm not worried at all about any type of skin irritation. Blade itself is going over the skin, no problem. All right. One thing I actually kind of like, kind of like about the uh, the lather dissipating a little bit, the thickness of the lather, I can see exactly where the hairs are. Sometimes when I have a real thick lather, it makes it difficult for me to see exactly where some of those persistent hairs are. So, all right, quick rinse. Again, that is still super slick. Really like this soap. All right, go back to the bowl. This one actually might even be a two-pass shave. I'm not sure yet. Two-pass in the cleanup, probably. All right, get a little more lather loaded up. You can see I still got plenty of lather there. And I only, only took it off the puck for, oh, I don't know. A minute or two. All right, there we go. I'll definitely work for pass number two. Then get that razor nice and wet, some cold water. Go across the grain. You didn't see when I went ahead and actually dialed it up to um, six real quick. I found that I like to go from a lower number to a higher number on successive passes when I use the uh, adjustable. So that issue with that Adam's apple spot. Anyone who has ideas on the best way to handle that one, let me know. that razor off, check my face. I want to see if I need to do a third pass or if I can just do a cleanup. The finger's nice and wet. Little bit underneath. Cheeks are really nice. I think just up underneath. Same spots I always have problems with. The hair grows in such weird patterns under my chin. I just sometimes just don't even know what to do. There's still plenty of lather there. 
load her up, finish that last pass. I could have used just a wet razor, but I have the soap, I might as well use it. Go ahead and leave, leave it on six. There's no reason to turn it up any further. All right, rinse off that razor and we might call this one. Oh yeah, super slippery. It'll take a while to rinse the rest of that soap off. It's so slippery. Anyways, um, I'll finish the rest of my post shave off camera after this. Um, one thing I do want to address is how in the world do you deal with these soap pucks after you're done? Do you just have to use one over and over and over again until you're done with it? Or can you mix it up a little bit? Well, what I actually found, I have a couple actually, a couple solutions. There's the, sh the shower bar, a little wooden shower bar. You can go ahead and rest your soap on that and allows it to dry out between shaves so you don't waste anything. I found a little bit of, let's see if I can find the second one. It's a nesting set. So these are bamboo off of Amazon and in inside is just a little shelf. So I already have one of my pucks loaded up in there. Put the lid on, can put a second one, put it in there. So I can put two there, no problem. In between shaves, they can dry They can dry out a little bit so I don't have to stay moist and get ruined. Other than that, there's a couple other options if you're, if you're not so concerned about environment. I do have this as well. It's again, really cheap off of Amazon. And I like this one. This one actually has a couple different purposes. It's a little plastic bowl. Inside it has a little grate. That grate comes out and you can put the soap puck on there. Either way, you can turn it one way and it has little teeth that actually grab the puck or you can turn it this way and you put it down. Second use of this one, I've actually gone ahead and used this bowl, put the puck in, loaded the warm water in here and then I can load my soap right off the puck in this one of these, no problem. So I use kind of a combination of all of them. Again, I used actually the, the bottom of one of these bowls is what I pour my water into. So I can save that water and use it during my shave. Any questions, if you have at all, uh, about the soap? Um, I'm not an expert on it. The, Company has a comment site. You can reach out to them and they're more than well, more than happy to answer any questions you have. Other than that, I'm gonna finish off my, my shave. I'm gonna do a nice warm water rinse, a cold water rinse, throw the Allen block on there and get some aftershave. Until I do my bow tie video or until you tune in for the next shaving video, have a great day and great shaves.